All right, IBAISL2, um, we've reached the middle of chapter 7, which we are splitting into two different tests. And the first one is all uh, about, I wouldn't say basic, but it's probability. So first up, you should know the definition of probability, uh, where you can use this notation, where a little n on the outside means the number of things in the sample space uh, that happen a certain way. Like the number, if you're looking for the probability of a, it's the number of ways that a can happen divided by the number of ways that all things can happen in the universal set. Um, there's three different ways we looked at uh, displaying probability sample sp space problems. Um, we definitely did a fair amount of work with Venn diagrams. Now remember that some Venn diagrams are overlapping, sometimes they're disjoint where they're not touching, sometimes there's one that lives inside another, so there's lots of different ways to draw Venn diagrams. We also did certain problems where maybe a table was appropriate um, to list out all the different ways the problem can happen. Uh, the main thing I think of is the roll two dice problem, where you put out like, you know, uh, one roll across the top and the other girl here. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you put all the different uh, uh, um, possibilities in here. Maybe you're adding them together, maybe you're multiplying, who knows. Um, then a really big one that helps with a lot of problems is tree diagrams. Notations you guys should know. Uh, you should know what an intersection is, both on a Venn diagram and in terms of uh, two things happening in a probability problem. Um, also know what a union is. Remember, that's the marriage between the two. Um, a complement is everything that's not A, and then the conditional probability is A given B. So that's uh, the probability of A given that B has already happened. Um, know the definition of mutually exclusive events, which means the intersection of two events is zero. Or the probability of them happening at the same time is zero, is another way to think of that. <coughs> Excuse me. We also talked briefly about independent versus dependent probability. Remember, if two events are independent, then their intersection is just their separate probabilities multiplied. Um, and if two events are dependent, you can always use this handy dandy formula right here. Um, one of the last things we got to is that sometimes if you're trying to figure out all the different ways something can happen in a problem, uh, sometimes it's shorter to just subtract out the intersection from one. So the probability of A happening is one minus the probability of A not happening. Okay, I think that's it. I have for all I have for closure notes. Um, really, it's just practice, 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 because there's so many different types of probability problems that can come up. So, good luck with your.